Welcome, Saints Nation, to another Rocket League match, but the very first one here in the UCEA season. My name is Daniel Banner, going to be your host here for tonight's matchup as we have Arkansas State University versus St. Clair College and College v. College action. Starting lineup here for the Saints, the same squad you've seen win the St. or not the St. Clair, the Spirit Esports Tournament. And they're picking up right where they left off, it looks like, as Chris gonna bounce it off the backboard. BB tries to get a piece of it, but not enough to stop Fusion from putting that one in the net. But yeah, same squad here from the Spirit Esports Tournament. We do have Kamal, we have Kariz, and we have Fusion. And Fusion's getting aggressive right off the start here as Kodo Gonna get demoed here. BB looking to possibly get some action started. Eno diving in, but gonna be stopped by Kamal. Shot towards the net. Eno tries to get that away, but it ends up being the perfect pass here. Right to Kamal. Gonna give our Rocket League squad here a nice quick 2-0 before the minute mark. Tell you what, this team has been absolutely on fire from the get-go in this season. I know it can be a little bit hard to keep track of, because we, of course, have Nace. We had the Spirit Tournament. Some games have OPSC, and then we have, of course, UCEA. I tell you what, this Rocket League team, no matter what they enter, seem to be dominating. Kamal picking up his second, almost looking like uncontested, as he just takes off from the wall, bounces it off, and just makes sure that the crossbar doesn't interfere with him too badly. Now, of course, Arkansas State University, we got the opportunity to play them during the Overwatch season. Nice and early. It might have been the preseason, actually. I believe our Overwatch squad took them rather convincingly. I'm looking forward to seeing if uh, the Arkansas State squad here can turn this around. Action in the UCA, of course, is still best of five. So just because one game doesn't go in your favor doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Arkansas is having an extremely difficult time trying to get it out of their own zone. BB's gun's going to try and slow it down, ride it, tries to pop it above him, but going to get interfered with. Going to take out Chris for his troubles, and Eno, there we go, finding the back of the net after the pass from BB. BB may have went down, got demoed, or went to go do the demoing, rather, and ended up getting rid of one of the defensive possibilities there from St. Clair, giving them essentially a wide-open net. So props to ASU, figuring it out, and getting themselves on the board in this game. Three minutes still on the clock, so plenty of game time here. All up high into the neutral zone, and it's going to be Kariz as it slowly but surely went into the ASU zone, takes to the skies off the wall, and just a single tap will do it. Knocks it into the net. BB got a piece of it, but not good enough. Charging forward. Kamal going to be the one to push this into the Arkansas zone. A bit of a whiff here on the side of the defense, and that is going to leave Kariz wide open to put in goal number five. BB tried to get a piece and completely uh, missed his mark that time by. Tried to get in you know, on the second time by, but nope, not this time. A ball stuck in the air of the mid zone as it now starts going to the Arkansas zone. Eno to try and put it high past the net to make sure St. Clair can't actually just tip it in. Odo trying to get a piece of it, going to send it to the other side of his zone to BB. You can tell it looks like BB doesn't feel too, too comfortable with some of these like long range aerials. It's really hesitated there on the wall. That being said, still got the shot off for St. Clair to make the save. Meanwhile, Chris diving through, going to hit the backboard to Kamal, and that will be goal number three of game number one. Here for Kamal, getting the hat trick nice and quick into this one. Putting it essentially dead center. 
after getting the pass from Kareez. Almost there for Kareez as he takes a shot on net, hits the post. You know, in the net of the Arkansas zone, gonna try and clear it himself. Kareez gets a nice tip though, however, gonna force Kodo to uh, make the save. Kamal with the centering pass. Nobody home. He's just going to have to take it himself up the wall. Tries to center it again. Kareez coming in hot. Going to just hit it right above the crossbar. Fusion and Kodo battling with it as Fusion moves it towards the net. Crosses it, but it's a little bit too far up in the air. Kareez was not ready to get a, get a shot on that one. Kodo trying to clear. Denied by Kamal. He takes to the skies. Brings this one right to the net, but... Bounce is in a bit of an odd angle, so he's not going to be able to get that. Fusion with the secondary centering attempt. And a shot from Kariz, but not going to get on target this time by Fusion putting into the corner. Intercepted, however, by Fusion, but it's going to be stopped. You know, right on point. Kamal centers, and the shot from Fusion hits the post. Kariz whipping the defense there, but at least he's getting some boost to get himself back into position. Ball, ball on his roof, looking to make the play, but a nice save there from BB Gun, making sure that uh, that one doesn't go through. Come off the secondary shot, nice save by Kodo. You know, in the corner, trying to clear, not going to happen though. Kariz is right there, centering ball. BB Gun in position to make that save, but then Fusion there to make the rebound happen. Tries to make the shot, not going to happen. Kodo with the clear. Just has to deal with Kariz, a nice little lob, but Fusion coming in hot out of the left-hand side with enough boost to get there in time. Making the save here for St. Clair, six to one, as we hit that 25 second mark in this very first game. St. Clair coming in hot, and ASU, as this game went on, they feel like they're catching up in terms of defense and getting themselves a few offensive opportunities. So the fact that this is a best of five does excite me because I think clean slate, they can definitely make them honest here. Put some pressure on St. Clair. Game one might not say so, but we'll have to see as we get ready to hop into game number two as soon as this one hits the ground. There it goes, okay. Yeah, so very solid start here for St. Clair. Kamal getting himself the hat trick. Then Fusion all over the board, as well as Kariz with many shots, many saves, goals, and assists. Teams all over the place. Only goal scored for the side of Arkansas State was Eno with the assist of BB Gun. Shout out to Kodo, though. He was doing pretty solid as the goaltender on the side of Arkansas. Eventually, Found his footing and I was doing a pretty good job defensively. Looking forward to seeing what game number two brings. Give them the clean slate and see if they can reverse this around. But I tell you what, this St. Clair squad is extremely difficult to beat. It took the like I'm thinking back to Saturday, if you did join us for the, the Spirit Esports tournament, where uh St. Clair basically blew through the entire tournament up until they found Bulldog Esports. And they were having a bit of a hard time initially. But by the time it got to game five, it seemed like St. Clair even had their number. But the finals, if you sell that too, is actually pretty hype as well. I think I want to say it was a 3-0 in the finals. But that being said, that last game, therefore St. Clair came down to a, a buzzer beater. So... St. Clair had some challenge, but not so much this weekend, but we get to see now. Arkansas's in their own zone. Eno kind of whiffed the save, but thankfully for him, it goes a little wide, and Kodo will be there to make sure no other funny business happens in their zone. Chris goes up high to beat Kodo to bring it into the Arkansas zone. Eno is right there alongside BB Gun. BB Gun going to go up high, but it's going to be denied by Kamal, pushes it towards the net. Eno going to get the clear, however, so no one from St. Clair able to get a follow-up onto that one. Eno carries it along the left-hand side, going to be 
briefly intercepted there by the St. Clair player as it goes into the corner of Arkansas. Cotto in net, ready to go, but Kamal bringing it around, going to get his own rebound to put it in for goal number one of game two. Gives it a good boop. He still has momentum. He can just keep riding this thing as much as he wants. Puts it dead center. There was not anybody up in the sky to try and contest him in that one. Off the faceoff, we go into the Arkansas zone. Kodo going to be the one to get it out for the time being. Going to be picked up by Kariz, but Eno going to take it away from him as we go back into the Arkansas zone. BB gun going for the clear. Fusion up in the skies already, trying to knock this down towards the net, and he's going to be able to squeak it right in between the two defenders and the crossbar. Nice little play from Fusion. Not have much wiggle room there, but managed to find the spot. Good way to get things started here for St. Clair going up 2-0. Off the wall to Kariz, off the crossbar. Fusion's there for the rebound. Kariz is also there to touch it, and he is going to finish it. The defense from Arkansas would have been there to secure that ball. Eno was right there, so Kariz making a tap on it. Perfect timing. Still more than half the game left here in game number three. Arkansas started the second game a little bit more solid. However, this last minute seems to be a bit of a struggle. A nice little dodge from Chris, however, is going to put the ball into the St. Clair zone. It seems like every time it gets there, somebody from St. Clair is up in the skies, ready to carry it right out of there. The confidence of this entire St. Clair squad in the skies is unparalleled compared to everybody else. That being said, it doesn't matter how good you are in the sky or on the ground. If you're out of position, they'll just score right from their own zone. We had three members of St. Clair all the way in the offensive zone, and Kodo going to make sure that St. Clair pays for it, bringing this to a 3-1 game. Off the faceoff goes into the Arkansas zone. BB Gun gets it robbed by Kariz. Shots fired, but BB Gun right there with the save. Kodo, and I remember that was BB Gun, tries to take the shot, but Kamal's going to be there for the save. Kodo still back in net now for Arkansas. Eno going to give BB Gun a bit of a boost, and they're going to clear this into St. Clair's zone. Raise up high to try and knock it out. Kodo trying to keep it in the St. Clair zone, but it's going to be controlled by Kamal, but stopped here by Kodo. It goes into the, or towards the St. Clair net, but off to the left-hand side. BB gun up high, nice shot, but a nice save from Kamal as well. In position to knock that one away. Here he is. Puts it into the center, but it's going to go to Kodo. Fusion gets a piece of it, is now able to chase it into the A-State zone. Gets his own rebound, but Eno going to stop any shot opportunity. And it will finally be cleared for the time being. Until it's picked up by Kamal once again. BB Gun went up high. Missed his mark, however. Kariz going to punish that big time. After the pass from Kamal was right on target. Gave Kariz a wide open net to shoot at. There's under two minutes left in game number two. Fusion up in the skies once again. Going to push this all the way into the Arkansas zone. Is going to be challenged by BB Gun. Uh, blowing a lot of boost to try and make that happen. But Eno is there for backup. Stopping the shot from Kariz. Fusion to the skies. He has Kariz there with him. But Eno and BB Gun are right there to stop that in its tracks. Kamal going to pinch it off, however. And going to send it all the way across the arena. Shot on target. Pushed aside by BB Gun. Shot by Kamal, off the post. Can he get his own rebound? Gets a piece of it. Fusion is there. Gonna try and keep it in. Off the backboard, Kariz up top. Nice shot from Kariz. Squeaking it past the post. Securing goal number five here for game two. 
BB gun was so close to making that save, but not today. And it left on the clock, 5-1 currently. Kamal back to the skies once again. Eno tries to make the save. Unfortunately, just missed his mark. And Kamal's just going to be able to carry this one in. Off the roof even, just puts it too high for Eno to actually catch up to. Off the face off we go once again back into the Arkansas zone. Fusion trying to get the center. Eno this time gonna clear it out. Off the pass from Koto actually right on target. Eno trying to center it as well. It's just gonna hit the post. Good little interference here from BB Gun, but that ended up turning into a pass to Kariz as we now round the centering shot. Fusion misses his mark, however. Give his BB Gun a chance to possibly slow it down and look to control this. Pass it back to Eno. Eno with the shot off. On target, another shot actually off the crossbar. Eno going to get himself on the board. Six to two with 25 seconds left. Just low enough that the crossbar didn't interfere with it too badly. A solid shot there from Eno. Possibly the start of something, but they're going to have to go absolutely nuts if they want to turn game two around because they do not have too much time left. And a rough bounce like that is not what you want to see if you are Arkansas, as that weird bounce off of Kamal, like the slightest of angles, or like the slightest of impacts on the car, putting it almost directly sideways. Nice shot there from Kamal to answer back that goal pretty well instantly. Yeah, Curry's gonna just keep it in the corner at this point. Kamal's there to pick it up as Chris goes to get some boost. And game two is going to be finished off by Kamal as we finalize it here. 8-2. An absolutely brutal game coming out there from St. Clair with both Kamal and Kariz finding themselves hat-tricks. Kamal absolutely all over the board with the four goals and assist, a bunch of saves, a bunch of shots, of course. And Fusion just being everyone on the team's best friend in terms of assist, just setting everybody up and getting a goal for himself as well. St. Clair brings us to match point. It is now or never here for Arkansas. Of course, while we await the next game, I do want to give a big thank you to the sponsors that do make this possible. Of course, that's St. Clair College, St. Clair College uh, Alumni Association. The uh, Student Representative Council, the Zuckelman School of Business and IT, Tim Hortons, and PC Outlet. Thank you so much for making Sync Gaming what it is. And without further ado, we hop into game number three. We need Arkansas to come in and come in hot here. As we bring it into their own zone, come all to Kariz, Kodo can knock it over to the side, so at least St. Clair can't really do anything with it at that moment. All to the sky, slowing it right down. Kariz was trying to pick it up, but he just ever so slightly misplayed that. It's going to go into their zone. I would imagine a lot of the St. Clair players at this point are at a lack of boost, especially Kamal now he's been demoed. BB gun on an absolute tirade, getting two demos. Going to be really slowing the St. Clair offense for this moment. Maul may not exactly have that much boost, but he's going to try and make the play off the corner. 
Not going to happen this time by his fusion. Completely out of boost, trying to work it, but if you blow up the goaltender, it doesn't even matter. Huge play coming out here from St. Clair. Fusion going to be able to put that one in, but it was a huge thanks to the fact that the goalie just got blown up there. I believe that was by Kamal. Perfect timing. It forced Kodo to blow his boost to try and make the save, but did not react in time because that was a pretty heads-up play from St. Clair squad. A shot on target going to be stopped by Kamal Barely as he now goes to the skies. To Fusion. Into the Arkansas zone. Eno trying to get it out. Kariz with the denial. To Kamal. Back to Kariz. Off the backboard, but I don't think anyone from St. Clair is going to be able to follow up with it. Fusion manages to catch up with it, taking it slow. Dancing around some of the members of Arkansas here. It's getting put back into the corner where Kamal is up in the sky waiting for it. Chris puts it towards the net to Fusion. And then Kodo, with the save, bops it off the top, off the backboard to keep it out of there. Go in the St. Clair zone. Eno goes for the shot, whiffs it, however. Fusion going to take a moment, go to the skies, gets past one, going to carry it all the way to the net, but it's going to be stopped by BB Gun. Kamal, not going to let Arkansas breathe. Eno, there with the save. Kodo bouncing it off the wall, however, going to get intercepted by Fusion. Pops it back to Kamal, back to Fusion. Fusion off the boards. Towards net, right on target. Crossbar into Kariz. Nice passing play here from the St. Clair squad. Kariz getting the finisher, but to Fusion. Fusion to Kariz. Bounces it off, takes care of it. 2-0. Faceoff puts into Arkansas zone. Korea is going to try and get his own rebound, his own shot. Hits it off the post and it's going to go to BB Gun. BB Gun takes this guy. He's expecting St. Clair to try and intercept it. No which they were successfully able to do so. Nobody home here on the defense for Arkansas. And Kamal going to just put it in after having too many members of Arkansas. A little overconfident maybe that they were going to be able to clear that ball. And when they didn't, there was nobody home. Off the face off, BB Gun. Keeping it near neutral, but Fusion's going to bring it into their zone. Kamal looking to possibly set this up, and he's kind of... Him and Kariz looked like they both wanted to go for the same ball, which ended up making it so that neither of them went for it. But at the same time, they don't have to score right now, so might as well be safe than sorry. Kodo brings it into the St. Clair zone, but Kamal is back in net, ready to clear this. Going to be stopped, but now Kariz is up to the skies. Fusion going to try and get a piece of it. Tries to make the tip work, but not going to make contact. Odo in the skies off of Fusion, but it's going to be stopped by Kamal. Takes it up to the skies, crosses center. He has, I think it was Chris with him, and sure enough, going to get him goal number two in this game. After Kamal's clearing attempt, found Chris down below, and nobody home once again here from Arkansas. Bring it up to four to nothing. And just like that, it's 5-0 now as off the boards, Fusion just going to be able to essentially take it himself here. BB got a piece, but not enough to actually secure this one. I'll tell you what, something about this season right now for St. Clair as we almost get ourselves another one. Goal 6 was right on the doorstep there for St. Clair. It's been usually a mixture of extremes with most of the time St. Clair seems like they're blowing out their opponents. St. Clair has been blown out once or twice. And we maybe had one or two like super close games so far across all titles in collegiate action so far. This seems to be the name of the game. Now 
Nice little pass there from Kamal. The Korea is going to be stopped by Eno as we have less than a minute left. Fusion with a bit of an odd angle, but trying to just take it over his net instead. Going to be BB. Trying to keep it centered. Kodo is nearby. Actually going to be going back towards his own net. And even still, Fusion going to carry this all the way in, all the way to Kariz, and Eno gets a piece of it, but not enough to secure. One more on the board here for Kariz. Another hat trick for him. I wonder if he got one hat trick. Not every game this series, but pretty close. Off the face off. Fusion has it into the zone. Gonna be stomped by Kamal, but BB's gonna take it into the St. Clair zone. Lobs it up for Eno. Eno missing it once again. Fortunately, could not get the tip necessary to put that into the net. 10 seconds in this entire set. I, I see no chance of, uh, of Arkansas taking this one away, especially after Kamal just basically puts the, the cherry on top for this set. Absolute destruction coming out here from the St. Clair College Rocket League team. Picking up where they left off, winning the Spirit Esports Tournament, and now making a statement here in the season opener for UCEA. And Kariz getting the hat trick once again. A bunch of assists as well because Kamal and Fusion all getting on the scoreboard. Unfortunately there for Arkansas. Getting skunked here on the final one. A fantastic showing here from our St. Clair Rocket League team. And this is just the start of a week full of action here for our St. Clair Saints. I'm going to quickly go over the schedule. What we have up and coming as we have the UCEA CSGO season opener tomorrow. Not 100% sure which team we play just yet, but of course, keep up with all that information by following our social medias, whether that's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And of course, follow the, the Twitch channel to get the notification when the actual broadcast stream goes live. Yeah, so CSGO tomorrow, then on Wednesday, Overwatch CEA, that's week two of action for them. On Thursday, we have, it would be the season opener for OPSC League of Legends. We've seen a little bit of OPSC preseason from the past couple of weeks. This is the first one, for, or the first one to actually go into the record books. Get to see them play up against Fanshawe College, which we had a fantastic preseason game up against. That was one of the few back and forths that we saw. Be sure to tune in for that one. That one's actually at 6 p.m., so it's a little bit earlier than most of our matchups. So be sure to tune in to that. Then Friday, Saturday, we got ourselves a bit of a double header for Rainbow Six Siege, with Friday being the Collegiate R6. We were going on week number four of action. The Rainbow Six team for CR6 is uh, essentially flawless at this moment, currently with a 3-0 record. So we move into week number four. And then on Saturday, it's the very first match in the, um, the Collegiate R6 Championships. This one is, on face it, held by Ubisoft themselves, so the creators of Rainbow Six Siege. That'll be the season opener. Looking forward to seeing what kind of competition that league brings.